Hello everybody, this is Nick, and up for a review today we have the Citizen Caliber 9000 Minute Repeater. This is a little different than what I've shown you guys in the past. I'm generally a, a diver fan and a mechanical guy, but for the nerd inside, I kind of went for a complicated quartz. And what I mean by that is just... Uh, this is the part of the echo drive line from Citizen that's charged by a light. But it's basically a quartz watch. And what I mean by complicated is the amount of features that it has. While I'm not going to go through all of them and show all of them today, I'll, I'll try to go through a couple of them for you. It has, you can have two alarms, dual time zones, it's got the minute repeater, perpetual calendar that will show leap, the leap year, the month, and then finally we've got the day complication that goes around the outside of the watch here. This watch was recently bought on schnoop.com, their daily deals, for $124, and with this watch having a normal retail value of $550, it's a pretty good bargain. Got about a 42 millimeter case, which for a somewhat dressy watch, that's probably about as big as many pe many people will want to go. Uh, the Seiko Spirit and Orient Star are both a bit smaller than this, but I'd like the case size of this one a little bit better. Being a quartz, it's got a relatively thin case, and with, with the nicely curved lugs, it's very comfortable. As you can see, we got a stainless steel case, which is fully polished. Something I don't usually go for, but again, on kind of a dressier watch, it's it's fine. If it were a diver, I'd generally go with a brushed finish. We have a nice bracelet here with solid end links. There's no play in the end links here. Uh, the bracelet's not real solid, but it's not bad either. And perhaps I'm spoiled by bracelets such as what come on the Dive Master and the Seiko Monster, but this one's still not shabby by any means, especially considering the price. And for those of you wondering what the minute repeater does, it doesn't serve much purpose today, but it was originally designed for those who wanted to know what time it was, but really had no readily available light. And this top button here, I'll depress it and you're going to hear it give you the time in tones. And the first set of tones will give you the hour, the second set of tones give you quarter hour increments, and then the final set of tones will give you the minutes. So here we go. So, as you can see there, it's it's a pretty neat little feature that, uh, more than anything, is just a neat complication within their practicality now, considering light is readily available. But, again, it's just a neat feature to have, and generally is only featured in really expensive watches. Now, if we depress the second button down here, you'll see this smaller time zone down here is is moving and what it's going to show here in a second is the hour hand is going to show what leap year it is and then the minute hand is going to show the month so as you can maybe see there it's pointing to August and since 2008 is the leap year it's pointing at the leap year and you see here the bright orange hand is pointing to the 21st so and then in about 15 or 20 seconds it goes back to the normal home time zone there so uh, there it goes back. So overall, I mean, someone's looking for some a kind of uh, somewhat dressy watch, although I would call this formal, being it's relatively a, a busy dial. I'd imagine this is quite an eye catcher, and if you can have it anywhere under two hundred dollars, it's definitely worth it, or even more. The fit and finish really suggest a watch that costs maybe more, like two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars. You know, just the great dial work here. There's a lot of layers you might not be able to see 
that each sub dial is kind of a different layer. Kind of the only drawbacks of this watch that even with a screw down case spec, it only has 30 meters resistance. It's a bit disappointing, but perhaps it's because of the pushers and that the case probably needs to remain pretty thin for the minute repeater to be audible and the alarms for that matter. And the only other drawback is citizens' use of mineral crystals. Some other Japan domestic market watches use sapphire, but uh, as far as I know, the American market watches use almost, you know, primarily mineral crystals, which is a bit disappointing, especially on a watch that retails for over $500. And I'm afraid this one might be a little easy to scratch, considering there's a slight dome to it here. But uh, I didn't show you the guys the clasp, which actually has a little bit of decoration to it. Nice touch, but obviously it's not going to get seen very often. But uh, if you guys are looking for a neat watch with lots of features, uh, this is definitely want to check out, especially for the price. And uh, don't worry, Citizen has an animated user's guide on their website for those who don't want to read instructions but would rather be shown what to do. It's definitely the way to go. Basically, if I had to make an analogy, this is pretty much an analog G-Shock. <laughs> Lots of features, good price, good build. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.